Hello, and I'm here with ex medallion player Scott Adams. Now, Scott, judging by what you've seen so far, the standard has it increased or decreased from last year? Uh, some players have increased in standard, but some of them are. They are very good, are they now? Some, uh, some of them are, some silly mistakes just. Basics, do you reckon? Do you reckon they need to work on the basics, or do you reckon it's the more advanced skills that they're, they're trying and they're trying stuff? They're, no, basics are good, they're just trying silly things. Well, now, what do, you, do you reckon Grosvenor will win this game? I mean, it seems fairly close at the minute. Still some fumbling going on in the back of the Grosvenor boys and also in the Dungannon boys, but Grosvenor forwards aren't capitalising on it. Do you reckon this game will go to the wire or do you reckon Grosvenor will run away with it? I don't think they'll have it. I think they'll have it. It's David Austin, the next medallion player, Scott Adams. Thank you, David and Scott, for that great review of the game so far. So one on one, and it's Dylan Lennox. Dylan Lennox puts it out. Oh, sensible head there. Sensible, cool head there from Dylan Lennox. Didn't panic. Knew what he had to do. Ah, uh, you, you tell him some. Cal McCallum's getting his input in. Is he there? Yeah, he's done for it. Cal McCallum, the most capped Irish cricketer of all time. Batting average of 23. Batting average of 542 in the Ulster League. And also, most recently, Sky Sports Pundit. Yeah. We may even get Kyle down here for an interview at some stage and give us some his thoughts on the game, as he is a professional. I'm sorry if you hear Neil Cushley speaking, we will try to translate for you. Timmy McMullen. Oh, oh this is risky from Grosvenor trying to run out of the loan 22. Lee Orderly. Lee Orderly. Oh, he's driving very well. Lee Seamus O'Bull Orderly. Orderly. Oh. Great tackle there by, Down by the, number the nine. It's given to Cameron Vance, who looked yeah, the rock over. Oh, it's a penalty. That's poor play there from the Dungana number nine. A legal play. Someone should tell this boy the rules. In Chinese, maybe. Jamie here will kick for touch, I assume. Where's he going? He's going right or going left? No one quite well, knows. Looks like he's going left now. Perhaps <laughs> the wind direction or the way he liked the style of kicking. May That's fear. a terrible kick, straight down the throat, and this is the one of the only well-collected kicks today, and it's offloaded, and Grosvenor also pouncing on the opportunity to put a hard tackle in. As a kicker myself, I know that if uh, you don't find one of your colleagues, afraid. if one of your colleagues tries to give you advice on how to kick when you've already made your mind up, it's very hard then to execute properly. It's very off-putting. This is why I'm really bad. That was the voice of Peter Davison. Zach, Zach Smith and there with a head injury, it looks like. This could be bad for the Grosvenor team. As Zach did once play for the new Port Gwent Dragons Academy side. Look at this big bad boy here. Look at him, Simon McCoy. Great tackle from Simon McCoy, but three of them took him down there. You can hear the faint sound of a vivazilla there. That's great. That's a great tackle by two Grosvenor great players, offload. including Jimmy McMullen. Oh, great hit by Zach Smith and someone else. Sam Purden. Sam Purden has an IQ of seven. <laughs> One of the most intelligent players in this medallion side. He's Gavin Patton out there on his own isolated. He's given the ball. It's a great tackle there. On the 22. And now the advantage is with Dungannon and that is the penalty for a knock-on against the Grosvenor players. So it'll be the scrum to Dungannon. <laughs> 